some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got something different for you guys. Not an American frauditor this time, but a British one. That's right, we travel across the pond and go into London, England to the Canning Town Job Center where we find a frauditor who goes by the name of the Laughing Auditor. And this wanker believes he has the absolute right to film in that employment office despite the fact that they are trying to protect people's information in there. But hey, he doesn't care. In fact, he spouts off many of the tired old arguments that our American frauditors have. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. There's people laughing out out here. Coming to you from the Canning Town Job Center Plus. Well, let's see what the situation is in here. That's Wednesday, uh, 23rd, 11.45, three months UCC statements, that's what we need. That is a very full notice board. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Excuse me. Hello. I can't take videos. Say so. Say so. Pardon? Say so. This is job centre policy. Does it? Okay, policy doesn't succeed the law. Because same old tired argument, that's policy, that's not law, that's a load of garbage, and you know it. I know here in the United States, businesses and government organizations can and will restrict filming for the purposes of securing customer information. And looks like it's pretty much the same thing in England. And the trespassing laws are fairly similar too. Um, they have their cameras, they have their own cameras. Do they? CCTV. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's good for them. So they, they, have, um, they have their own policy. Do they? Yeah. Okay. So, um, well, I've got the law, so. No, I understand that. Yeah. I understand that, but as I said, it's just in a policy. Get a manager to speak to you if you would like. By all means, I'm not leaving. No, I'm not saying you've got to leave. Okay. No, I'm still going to film though. Well, I'll get, I'll get a manager. It's a public, publicly funded building, so it's a public place. But you can still be trespassed Hello. and Hello. kicked how you doing? out. I'm good, how are you? I'm not too bad. Do you have an appointment? No. Okay, so can I ask you what you're doing in the job centre? What does it look like I'm doing? I have no, no. idea. It looks like you're filming. But... There you go. You got it first time? I'm afraid you're not welcome if you don't have an appointment. Okay. If you'd like to make an appointment or you want to film. I don't want an appointment. Okay, in that case, can I ask you to leave, please? Mm. You can ask, but I'm going to politely decline, respectfully oh, decline. Uh, it's a publicly funded building, so under section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, I'm well within my rights to be here. Okay. You're well within your rights, but you're not welcome to film staff. Okay. Because we have a duty of protection to all the staff. Okay, well, you work in the, pu the public sector. Makes no difference, we well, still have does. a duty of protection. If you're working in the public sector, working in a public building, and you yeah. don't, you're not prepared to make an appointment to see anybody? I don't need to make an appointment. I'm just here to check out your notice boards and see if there's any interesting information. Please stop okay, thank you. With universal credit, it pays to make up, take up short term or part time work. Does it? Interesting. We're on CCTV here, we've got security, he's got his body one video. Very big office. I think it goes upstairs as well. Hello. 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 <laughs> That's strange. So yeah, it goes upstairs as well. Oh, I think that's key card only. I got a job for that. Eco bikes, walkers. Oh, I'm not take a delivery driver. <laughs> so a very different approach here than what we had at Stratford Job Centre. So. You don't seem to want to try 
Aye, the whole hands-on approach straight away. Interesting. Get information for your cost of living payments, guys. Yeah, cost of living sky high at the moment. Yeah. Are you the manager here, Andrew? Yeah. Okay. Big job centre. Does it go upstairs as well? Sorry? Does it go upstairs as it well? Indeed, yeah. oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah? I'm not allowed to film in here. Okay, says who? I do. Do you? It's actually policy. Policy? Job centre policy, oh, is that's it? correct. So uh, we would have to ask you to leave, I'm uh, afraid. I'm going to respectfully decline because... Well, we will have to ask you to leave or I'll have to call the police, I'm afraid. Okay, well... So we I'm, will not have filming okay, in here. Okay, I come in peace, okay? So have I. Okay, but if you want to call the police, that's your prerogative. Under because Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972, this is a public building funded by the taxpayer, which makes it a public place, which gives me absolute right. Uh, that's not the exact wording that's used in that section. But just like our American frauditors, you misquote and misrepresent what anything says. Or, like some of ours, just make up bold faced lies. Why is, it, why is it that you want to film? I think the question you should really be asking is why you don't want to be filmed after all these are taxpayer I've, funded. As I've already said, it's our policy. Okay. 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 So policy so doesn't you, policy doesn't film? succeed why the law. Pardon? Why would you want to film? Why would I want to film? So, so again, I think the question you want to be asking is why don't you want to be filmed? You are publicly funded. You're paid for by the taxpayer. Your wages are paid for by the taxpayer. So why not be accountable I'm to the taxpayer? I'm also a taxpayer. Uh, of course, as, right. as myself, okay. as is everyone right. in this building, everyone so else. are you somebody that uses this job centre? Pardon? Is that why you're here? I don't have answer personal questions. Have you got an appointment? I don't answer personal questions. No, I don't have an appointment. I'm, I'm, I'm taking video of you as well. Yeah. Awesome, excellent. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. Yeah, because we are not allowed to do video. Is it? Videos here. This oh, office. that's a shame. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm special. Oh, I'm a tax-paying citizen. I can do whatever I want. Well, like they said, everybody else in this building is too. That doesn't make you any more special than any other person in that building. Get your ID there. Awesome. Just so I can identify you later. Don't delete that footage. I'll make a freedom of information request and get what? that. Don't delete the footage. I'll make an FOI request for that footage as yeah, soon as I'm on. Recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I ask your consent. Okay. Because you are, it's illegal for you to. It's do illegal. That. Yeah. Illegal, is it? What, what law is that? What law? Yeah, what laws so makes it? We have it? laws everywhere. We have laws. Oh yeah, I understand Even that. In your house, okay. my house, I have law. Okay, so what law is yeah. it that you think I'm breaking, sir? Yeah. What law do you think I'm breaking? We have rules and regulations. Well, yeah. No, 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 you said law, rules. so it's rules and regulations. Yeah. Okay, but laws so absolutely. Everybody obey them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are not different from other people who come here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Interesting. There's, there's, there's laws, people, and then he changes it when I ask him what law it is to rules and regulations. Unfortunately, I don't work for the job centre, I don't work for G4S, so I'm not bound by their, by their rules and regulations. If you don't want to be booted out, and if you want service, you got to abide by their rules and regulations. You are not above the law. Five hours later. No strange in, in, individual. See, another thing I'd make an observation of is, I'm going to stay on this side, but GDPR, they've left documents on a desk with information on it. So technically, not compliant with GDPR, and we've got more here. Look, more information. So. And now, this is where you really messed up, dude. Now you're actually going out of your way to film documents like that. They tolerated you before, but now they're going to get serious. Potentially. Potentially. I don't know what it says. I'm not one to to be pausing and zooming in on these type of things, but potentially it could have information on there that could be... That's one of the reasons why we ask people... Uh, sorry, excuse me. Yes. Right, right, that, uh, step back. Don't approach me like that. That's one of the reasons. You're right to record anyone. You're in a public Woman place. Being. You can record materials. You're in a public materials. place. Oh, you're in a public right. place. Sorry? You're in a public place. But you, you have... I can record whatever I see, sir. You so. can record me. Oh, well, you're in a public place, that's, so if you don't like it, go if, away. If, that's one of the if, reasons. You have to tell anyone... Go away. You have to tell anyone before 
Very strange. You, you don't want to be filmed, but you come and stand in front so of the camera. Keep it aside. No, no, I'll, I'll keep it on you. How about well, that? You don't keep it on me. Yeah, well. Otherwise, I'm gonna knock it off. Oh, will you? That's an assault. So you do that. Oh, now looky what we've got here. The guy turned into a giant snowflake. That's assault. That's assault. What a crybaby. The guy didn't even touch you. I beg you do. You threatening to assault me. You threatening to assault me. Very professional, sir. Can we just come back to the comment that you made about very professional on desks? Yes. So that's in a public one place, the, it's your one of the reasons why no, 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 no. It's, it's your responsibility to protect that information. That's why I'm Correct. Around yeah. with you. You're right. Oh my God, he's right. It is their job to protect that information, but. You know how they're going to protect that information? By booting you out of the building! So, okay. And that's so, why we ask people not to record. Okay, so question. What's stopping someone coming in here, a member of the public, having a look at that, and then writing something down about paper? Because there those you go. pieces there of paper... Go. It should be protected. That's my desk. Okay, it's your uh, desk. Well, it you're, would have been protected you're potentially you breaching been GDPR. My, you, you, you see how all your, you not been occupying you see my how, time. You see how all your computer screens are pointed away from members yeah. of the public? That's yeah. why. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. potentially you're in breach of GDPR. Stop people videoing. Okay, stop people videoing. Yeah. Okay, so, so if I come in here with a notepad and write down all the information that's on that, that's completely fine. Somebody would see you do it and would, they? would stop you. Would it stop me? Yeah. So you're going to stop people from, from taking notes on that? Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. They're going to try to stop anybody from stealing any personal information whatsoever, no matter the method of theft they use, whether it's video camera or just writing it down on a piece of paper. Of course they're going to try to stop the person, you moron, because it is their job to protect that critical information that their customers give them, and you certainly aren't making this job easier for them. If necessary. Really? And how are you going to how are you going to do that? We could stop them leaving the building, and we could call the police. You could call the police for what? For taking notes? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Are you listening to this, people? This Andrew, one of the managers here at Canning Town Job Centre, seems to want to think that he can phone the police for a member of the public want to walk into a public building and take notes. Never mind film. Take notes of other people's so this personal is, details. So. This is how these people try and erode your rights, ladies and gentlemen, you know. First they tell you you cannot film in a public place. Now he's saying that he'll have the police called on you because you've come into a job centre and decided to take some notes. Liar! Oh now, you're just twisting the narrative now, aren't you? Like I said, just like our American fraud is so full of lies. Of other how would you know that? How about. would you know that? Know yeah, how would you know it's someone else's details? You've left it out for public view. How would you know it's someone else's details? How would they know it's somebody else's personal details? Because they're the one working with it, you moron! You're the random idiot off the streets who doesn't know what's going on around here or what anything is, but you want to act like you know everything. I'm sorry, you're not going to attack it, please. Well, you've, you've made a fool of yourself, to be honest. You're threatened, threatening to arrest people for coming into a job centre to take notes. Seriously. I thought we lived in a free country. Do we not live in a free country? That's, that is absolutely staggering. Excuse me, can I use the toilet please? That, yes. that managers at Job Centre Plus seem to think they can have people arrested for taking notes in a job centre. <laughs> absolutely ridiculous. I've never heard such trouble in all my life. So just for the record, when it comes to GDPR regulations, it is up to the organisation or company. It is their responsibility to protect the information. If they leave it out in public view, for members of the public to see that, they are then technically breaching GDPR regulations. It is not down to that member of the public whether or not they are private that information. It's down to the organisation to protect that informa information. From what I can see, they're trying to do their job, but you just don't want to leave. You're trying to record their information. You've already proven that by recording those pieces of paper on the table, which they were trying to protect to do their jobs. But you are an idiot. An idiot just trying to start trouble. 
Well, I'm just going to end it right there because he spends the next 20 minutes standing at the door rambling to himself pretty much. Nobody's paying attention to him anymore. The guards won't let him get any further than that. The police never show up while he's there, so he just decides to leave.